Good day to all our audience. We are the opposition team in response to the topic as to whether or not parents have the right to determine the genes of their unborn baby. Our group consists of me, Chingru, as the first speaker, Dashini as the second speaker, Mavisa as the third speaker, and Pacey as the last speaker. Lastly, we have Shu In who will be doing a written report on the debate topic. This is in rebuttal of the first speaker in the propositional team. I will mention that by having genetically modified offsprings, we can enhance the, in the intelligence. We can eliminate the problem of defective genes causing various disorders such as Huntington's disease. Although Linda's baby in the scenario is tested positive by doctors who have Huntington's disease, the result might not necessarily be 100% accurate. There is a chance that the result is negative. Thus, having misleading situations where parents have to undergo the emotional turmoil as a product of such misinformation. As for every point on babies that are specially engineered to have higher intelligence, he mentioned that by offering the genes of the unborn baby, humans can enhance the offspring of their heart. Can I have, I'm sorry, um, he mentioned that by altering the genes of the unborn baby, humans can enhance the intelligence of their offspring. According to medical research, it has been proven that intelligence can also be increased by consuming fish oil during their pregnancy period. That if that's the case, why not we improve our dietary choices rather than wasting our money and time to alter the genes of an unborn child? Also, we, if we are all to make our child over-intelligent, nobody will take over the low-paying jobs. We would like to touch upon the definition of rights and genes. Based on right definitions, rights are normative principles or entitlements. That is to say, rights are rules about what is allowed of people or owned to people. Genes are defined as a basic unit of heredity. As far as genetic engineering goes, it goes against the law of nature. We should love our child the way it is. If you are of a religious person, it, you may feel that genetically and altering your child's genes goes against what God has planned out for us. By playing God, it is blasphemy of the highest order. In true respect, if we are to manipulate a person's genes just for the sake of our own personal preferences or benefits, where does human right comes into place? The child would just be another experimental subject of science. In other words, a guinea pig. As humans, we have to respect each other for who we are and not what we want them to be. By offering genetic engineering of unborn babies as a service for wealthy individuals, it is akin to belittling and treating human life as a form of money making too. This is definitely unempathetic and inhumane. We will also like to mention that parents do not have the right to alter the genes of their baby as it will make their child an unnatural life form susceptible to become an outcast of society and thus becoming a deviant. To conclude the argument, we stand on our ground that parents do not have the right to determine the genes of their unborn child. Thank you very much.